program to find the largest and smallest element in an array. So either it could be like you take the input array uh, from the user or probably you have predefined array. I'll go with the predefined model. Let's say I have already the numbers something like. These are the 10 elements. Now what we need to do is find the largest and the smallest element. If I do it manually, what I'll do is I'll traverse the array. So 100, then 5, then 201. It's visibly bigger number and then just move forward. And I don't see any number uh, more than 201. So that's the largest. Similarly, when I traverse the array, I see that uh, minus 8 is the smallest number. This is how we do it when you do it manually. But when you want to implement on a machine, this is the approach we're going to follow. I'll pick up two variables. The first variable I'll call it as largest. The second one I'll call it as smallest. Let's initialize them. Largest will be int underscore min. And smallest I'll take it as int underscore max. Where this min value is basically minus 214743648 and max is plus 214743648. Now you may have two doubts. The first one is what are these two int min and max? Secondly, how did I remember these big big values? First, these two belong to limit dot header file. So in order to use this predefined constants, you have to include this limit.h. And the values basically, uh, I did not memorize, I just googled it. So what happens is when you try to store an int value, it can maximum store this value and the minimum possible value is this. All right. Now few may have a doubt, like why don't I take largest as int max and smallest as int min. Just now we have seen that uh, when we take int, it can maximum go to this value and the minimum is now, if I assign largest as this and smallest as this, any number you give, so be it 100, 200, 300, you cannot really find out the minimum largest because you already assigned the value as largest as the largest value, smallest as the smallest value. Instead, what you need to do is assign this as largest and assign this as smallest. Now, when we compare this with any element, we obviously know 100 is greater than this value. So immediately the largest will be pointed to here and the smallest will come back somewhere here. Now these two can keep moving left and right and you can find out the actual minimum and the largest number. I hope you are able to get this. Okay. So we have assigned the largest and the smallest initial values. The next thing is we will be using a for loop. So I will take a for loop where i starts from 0, i has to go on till the array size and keep on incrementing. Now in this particular loop, I will be using a if condition. If Let's go for the smallest first. Smallest is greater than the array element, then immediately change the smallest value to the array element. What does that mean is, basically I am assuming that whatever the value I am holding, it is the smallest value. Now if I encounter any value which is smaller than the smallest, I will assign that new value to the smallest. So that as the loop iterates at the end, whatever the smallest value is there, that gets stored into this particular variable. On the similar lines, we will use another if condition, if largest is less than the array element. If you find any element which is greater than your predefined largest, then immediately change the largest value to that array element. Let us drag on this program. Let us go with the smallest. Smallest, the initial value we have stored as this particular value. So that is plus 21474836483648. So this is the initial value. Now as we enter the loop, it compares this with the first array element, which is 100. Now obviously 100 is less than this value. So this will be changed to 100. Then we move to the next element, 5. 5 is less than the new smaller value. So it will be updated to 5. Then we'll go to 201. It is not small. So there's no change. Then we go to 13. No change. 4. Yes. We want to update. Then minus 8. Yes. This is smaller. Then 12. 9. 356. So at the end of this loop, we have the lowest value minus 8. All right, let's implement this program to find the largest and smallest element in an array. Let's take a sample array. Let me take few more variables. One will be largest, then smallest, then I need i for the loop iteration. Now here I do not define the size. So because like probably tomorrow I may need few more elements. So it's, it's a good practice to find the size of the array. We can do it like this array size. Let's take this variable, which is size of the array that is ARR. Now what happens is uh, 
when we take the size of it basically counts the elements of this array and multiplies with size of each of the value so size is basically here it's an integer so integer has two bytes space so 2 into 10 it's 20 20 will be the array size but we don't need 20 we actually need only 10 so for that what we'll do is we'll divide the size of int so that you get the exact size this is the number of elements or array size basically here is the number of elements all right now let me print the elements for this i'll use a for loop i equals zero i less than array size i plus plus then uh, print f array let me give it as percentage d so that i can print the element position as well as the element equals percentage d okay i think this should work let's compile and see okay let's execute this yeah these are the elements now let's find the smallest and the largest let's go with the logic logic for smallest and largest so first i'll initialize these values smallest will be int max and largest will be int min now when we use this we also need to include the limits header include limit dot h not limit i think limits dot h okay now after we define the the smallest and the largest values let's go with the for loop i equals zero i less than array size i plus plus now in the loop i'll go with the condition i'll assume that the smallest is the value stored over here but which is not the smallest so we're going to compare this with the each of the element if at all you find an element which is smaller than the smallest immediately update it smallest is equals to all right on the same lines i'll also go with the largest if you find any element greater than the largest then update the largest okay after the loop let's print it print f smallest element is smallest print f the largest element is largest okay let's compile and check this okay no compilation errors yeah uh, the smallest element is minus 8 which is right and the largest element is 201 absolutely working mm -hmm.